Let's look at some organisms in the phylum Cnidaria. Anemones are the first organism we're going to look at. These guys are really interesting in that they have lots of tentacles. The, they contain a symbiotic form of algae called zooxanthellae. So they can live off of that energy produced by their zooxanthellae, but they do enjoy an occasional treat. I'm gonna try to feed these guys and we'll see if we can let you guys watch them eat some mysis shrimp here. So with this pipette, oh, if the clownfish will leave them alone. You can see that anemone closing up around those little mysis shrimp. And you can see the other one trying to grab. I can't get it to come out of the pipette here. Well, and the clownfish like the mysis shrimp as well. But you can really see that middle anemone eating up that mysis shrimp. So despite having those photosynthetic organisms in their cells, they do still like to eat a little bit. And you can see him grab onto that food with his tentacles and take it in toward the middle of his stomach. So that's one type of organism in the phylum Cnidaria. Cnidaria also includes corals. Over here, we have green star polyp. It's a type of soft coral, so it does not produce a hard calcium skeleton, but it looks more pretty here in the uh, aquarium. Another type of coral, these guys do produce hard, hard calcium carbonate skeletons. This one's called a candy cane coral. And it's much bigger, you notice, because it does produce that calcium skeleton. So three different types of cnidarians in the aquarium here.